Okay, hey guys. I want to give you a tip. Today's vlog has no supercars in it. So, I apologize. If you came here for supercars, you can go. Please come back tomorrow or the next day. Let's cut to that. Drop my burger. When, bur when you oh. asked me if it was cold, yeah. I can see me now. I didn't mean we were like going like snowshoeing or dog sledding today. Leave me alone. It's like, I like my... it's brisk, but it's not, you know, there's not even any frost on the ground. Mom's bugging me, Presley. What is happening, guys? This is where my vlog is going to start tonight. Uh, I've done a whole bunch of work and then went and did dinner with the family and all that. So we were going to about the vlog that part of our day. However, I have a bit of an inside secret to tell you guys. It's not really a secret. I hate this Porsche. It's driven me to almost insanity. I've kept my cool on the vlog for the most part. I'm done with this thing. The problems I've had over the last two months and the brakes are still squealing. It's driving me crazy. This is what we're doing. We are shopping for a new vehicle, either an SUV or a sedan. So here, we're gonna be kicking this thing to the curb. Uh, I'm sorry, Porsche. I have had an awful first Porsche owner experience. One of the vehicles that I've had an awesome experience with is actually the Land Rover product, specifically Range Rovers. And I've owned now two Range Rovers. I've, I've owned a full size, I've owned a Sport. I've also owned the LR4, the brand new one. All three of those vehicles have been amazing. No joke, I've owned them for probably the last six or seven or eight years I've had Land Rovers in my life. Right here, we're actually at a Mercedes dealership on this side, and we have a BMW dealership on the other side, but right here in the middle is a brand new uh, Range Rover Sport. So we're gonna check this thing out. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Which way should I lean? BMW, Mercedes, Land Rover? Um, any other suggestions as far as an SUV goes? This one, I don't know if this is one of the higher end models. Let's have a look. Let's check this spec out on this one. So this is like a champagne kind of, you know, metallic uh, color. I mean, there's the white. You can see the white of the Porsche. It's got like a champagne color. It's a little harder to tell because it is the evening. Now, this is my trick to uh, car shopping. I go car shopping at night. The reason is, is that I don't get harassed by salespeople. I just like to be left alone. I mean, I know what I'm looking for. I know what I like. I know what my wife likes. So when I'm ready to go and talk about, you know, price or test driving, that's when I go during the day. But in the meantime, I just come here at night. Look, it's just so peaceful. You know, you can just enjoy the vehicles, check out the lines on them and, you know, not have to worry about having someone approach you, you know, every two seconds or hound you if you get the wrong sales guy. Um, we'll check out this Range Rover model, this Sport, and then we'll go to BMW. And then we're gonna have a look at a couple of Mercedes. And then I'm gonna go home and watch car movies. That's gonna be how the rest of our evening goes. So let's check this thing out. Again, this is the Range Rover Sport. I definitely like the upgraded, you know, design cues from the previous model, but they've really cleaned up this side vent. I like how they've done some hood vents on this model. The previous Sport didn't really have much of this going on. So this one is, we have this coming in at, what's that? 81,000 at the moment is what they're asking. FYI, this is all in Canadian dollars. It is cold, by the way. Look at this. We have a big chunk of... That's like... That is hard ass. That's like concrete. So this is just the HSE model. This is not the baller baller model. I know they make the uh, crazy model, the SVR. I mean, I really like the lines on this vehicle. It is a good looking SUV. Oh, this is cool. I definitely like this. The wheels are actually very similar to the previous model wheels. 
the rest of the truck is very new. All right, what else do we got here? We got Mercedes, we'll come back to Mercedes. Whew. No joke, it's legit cold out. But I'm warm in my CMFR new winter parka. So what do we think about this? Now this is not the X5, this is the X6. And you guys can tell where I am. Obviously BMW Nanaimo here on Vancouver Island. What do you think of the lines on this vehicle? A little bit smaller. Pretty cool looking aggressive front end. Oh, this is an actual X6M. Oh yeah, well this is gonna be the fast one. So we've got red guts going on on the inside. That's cool. So what do you guys think of this? Pretty nice, aggressive looking, probably pretty fast. I don't know a lot about the specs on this vehicle, so if you wanna know much about it, you and I will both have to do our homework on Google tonight. I'm liking the front end. I'm not so sure about that back end. That kind of slopey back end right there is kind of throwing me off, I think, a little bit. Say bye to this. What do we got over here? I see Mercedes. Oh, this is an ML still, 2015, 550, four Matic, so all wheel drive. Nice pearl white, this, this one here. This got nice paint on it. I think the wife likes these. We've always been a big fan of, um, of Mercedes as well. We've owned a couple of Mercedes, mostly the AMG line, but um, you know, a 550 is the model kind of just before you get into the, the crazy AMG stuff. So this one's gonna have a nice spec on it. It's got the running boards. It's got the nicer like split five spoke wheel, the more aggressive looking AMG-esque front bumper. What do they want for this? Let's have a look. 69 grand. We got a black interior, not gonna see anything here at night. That back end's pretty clean. I definitely like this, this style of just kind of straight, like a normal looking SUV back end. I like it better than that. That is a little too sloped for me. Personally, I definitely think I like this better. Do we have anything else back? I mean, that's, an, uh, that's an old ML63 right there. That thing is fast. A buddy of mine used to have one of those ML63s. It was blistering fast back in the day when those were out. There weren't too many SUVs that could keep up with that. Hard to see, but they do have a white convertible M4 inside. Looking, I've always been a big fan of the M4. I like this. Good for the family too, because we got the. This is the M3, so it's the four door. They now distinguish the M line uh, cars by. So M4 is two door, either coupe or cabriolet, and now they do the M3 is specifically the four door sedan. So oh, there we go, right there. There's the badge. M3, sedan, and we've got, now they do this. You can see that M4 is the coupe. Double clutch. I also need, you know, really we need three vehicles in the family to kind of be able to maintain the daily driven supercar, but also a bit of a commuter for me. I need something else to also be able to go and pick up my daughters from school and things like that. So I do daily drive the supercar, but there are moments where my wife needs the SUV or whatever, or we trade and vice versa, where we have more than just two seats. So what do you guys think of this? Should I get an M3? You know, you guys don't know maybe the whole backstory. I used to have an E92. I had the first Liberty Walked E92 M3 in all of Canada. And um, funny enough, I still have that somewhere. I haven't really told you guys much about it. Maybe I'll bring it out eventually. 
it can only be a race car. It's no longer street legal. But what do you guys think of this? Family car? Third vehicle? Maybe? I don't know. Definitely like the styling on it. Ooh, we got some ice here. Woo! That is slick. My hands though, I, I'm getting to the point where I almost can't even feel my hands. I think I'm getting, oh, look at this. Oh my God, law of attraction. Guys, this is literally what my E92 looked like. Wow, I mean, even has the red interior. Yup, except for mine was manual. This has got the double clutch. Wow. <laughs> Talk about law of attraction. That brings back memories. I'll show you guys. I'll swing by my buddy Mark's shop. That's where the car is currently uh, sitting. We're gonna turn it into a full-on race car. It is no longer street legal. Oh, what is, is this a brand new C63? The 2015 C63 sedan. This would be cool to have. Fan of the wheels. This has got like a two-tone red guts and black interior. Really aggressive lip, that goes straight up. All right. Oh, and it's an S. C63S. All right guys, I am freezing. We got an older C63 right here too. Got the previous gen and the new gen. All right guys, I am, my hands, I can't feel my hands. This thing's pretty crazy looking. Oh, I can't even feel my hands. I'm not even kidding. It is blisteringly cold. Oh, okay, they're gonna hurt when I put some heat on them. All right, Porsche, we're kicking you to the curb very, very soon. But for now, you gotta get me home and keep me warm. Oh, I cannot feel my hands. All right, guys, we made it home. The little one is fast asleep in the back. I gotta stealthily take her out without waking her up. Tricks to a dad right here. Look at her. Somebody has passed out. So the first trick to not waking up the child being quick and keeping her warm because it's the cold that'll wake her up before anything. Come here. I got you. Oh, you're hungry? Come here. Come grab dad. Yeah, come grab dad. I know. I know you're still tired. I got you. You want me to snuggle you tonight? Okay. Coming, wifey? Dad life. All right, guys, I gotta put Presley to sleep and then I'll be back. So I'm done some work for the day and I need to go and decompress before editing this vlog. And I'm gonna go do that by watching my all-time favorite car movie, Fast and the Furious 1. I wanna leave you guys with my all-time favorite top five best car movies.
Chelsea, you can leave without saying goodbye.